This is an overview to introduce you to the cash flow statement. As its name suggests, this statement shows the major uses and sources of cash to a company during the period. Generally accepted accounting principles, or GAAP, prescribes the format for a cash flow statement. There are three main sections. The first section shows the sources and uses of cash from operating activities. So you'll see net income, and you'll have additions to it for non-cash expenses, subtractions for non-cash gains, and then the changes in the major balance sheet accounts to arrive at cash used or cash provided by operating activities. The next major section is the cash used or provided by um, investing activities. This would include, um, for banks, for example, uh, loans made or loans repaid. Um, for other companies, it would show any investments in fixed assets. And then finally, the last category is cash used or provided by financing activities. So if a company has issued more stock, you'll see that in this section or for a bank, you'll see changes in the deposit accounts in this section. The total of these three sections will be your net increase or decrease in cash for the period. You add this to the cash at the beginning of the period to arrive at the cash at the end of the period, which also will agree to the amount of cash on your balance sheet. So now you see all this detail for just one line item on the balance sheet. And finally, there are some required disclosures as well for the cash flow statement. You'll see cash paid for taxes and cash paid for interest as footnotes to the statement. Another common disclosure are items that um, affected account balances but did not necessarily result in any cash uh, proceeds or cash payments.